What's up, everybody? It's your main man, Yahi from Children of Israel out here, back again with another video and breakdown. So I finally got a chance to go over a series of unfortunate events concerning some celebrities that passed away. Not just celebrities, but celebrity family members that came up dead. Now, this is not the first time I've seen this or the first time I've seen some of these celebrities in the news. Listen, if you think this is the first kill in the books for some of these celebrities, you're sadly mistaken. This is part of initiation, also as part of moving up. It's not just about fame and status. That's a misconception also. That may require another video. But right now, I just want to let you know, these are some sick individuals. You have to be a sinister sociopath to kill a family member, to move up for temporary status. What type of organization respects any individual that kills a loved one? What type of sick bull crap is this? I don't ever want to see or hear anything about this individual. Okay? Now, if you understand like me that this is a cultural thing, you cannot let this go unchecked. You have to meet this head on. Sometimes you got to get in the mud to pull out a sheep. If you ain't going to get in the mud, get out the way. I'll get dirty for my people. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So let me help you guys identify this stuff right away. Now, when you look at Precious wristband from the emergency room, right away, her numbers match R. Kelly's kids' numbers. That's a heads up. Let me tell you, people, that's a 322 code. Those are the same numbers used in Kim Porter's case. Okay, those numbers were used all year round. They have to. The way tall move magic work is, you have to relate those numbers to every false flag, fake event, or blood sacrifice you use. It keeps the energy going. Three plus two plus two equals seven. Seven plus two equals nine. Nine plus two equals eleven. Okay, those are all the orchestrated chaos codes inside of three twenty two skull and bones. You're gonna see those everywhere. Okay, remember that. Now, when I took precious picture from Google image. I like to grab the green and pinks. As I say, they're easy to find. I matched it next to Christian Combs, Sandra Bullock's from Bird Box, and I also matched it next to the young lady from R. Kelly documentary because I knew that was fake. Okay. Um, not saying what happened to some of those girls was fake, but it was just a big act with a documentary. Precious Harris was hospitalized on Wednesday, third day of the week, the 13th. Nine days later, she died Friday. Fifth day, the 22nd. T.I. comes out the 9-11. His age comes out the 8-11. He was fighting Floyd over Gucci. Gucci comes out into a code, right? It has all the codes you're looking for that I introduced you guys to. That's why they were yelling over Gucci. At the same time, promoting the damn thing, right? T.I. and Floyd are good friends. They're both in the same order. Clark Gable III, dead at 30, is best known for cheaters season 13 and 14. Well, you see the 33 right away, but we're not looking for that. We're looking for 22, 13, and 9. 1 plus 3 is 4. 1 plus 4 is 5. That's 9. He died on the 22nd. 9, 22, and 13. Right there. TJ Cunningham, number 22 for Seattle Seahawks, played only 9 games. Killed by 31-year-old Marcus Johnson. That's your 13. 22, 9, 13. All right. Those are your points of reference. We're only dealing with a few. Okay. We're connecting a few people to show to make a point. R. Kelly charged with sexually abusing four girls. At least three of them are minors, girls between the ages of 13 and 17. He was charged at 9 p.m., arrested on the 22nd. Okay? And articles may change based on what magazine or newspaper you read. But I'm showing you how you, you find it. Okay? Robert Kraft, age 77, charged February the 22nd in Florida prostitution ring among two dozen 22 other individuals. Robert Kraft's team, New England Patriots, defeated the Los Angeles Rams 13-3 and Super Bowl 53 on February 3rd. All right? That's your 22-13-9. Okay? And they've been running prostitution rings. Oh, rich white guys, man. <laughs> That's what you do when you get money, right? When you're like them. You buy prostitutes. You know? <laughs> I mean, I don't mean to sound crazy, but, you know... Empire is mid-season. It will return March 13th with nine episodes remaining. 13 and 9 already. 
There were seven episodes completed before Smollett was charged. Smollett has said two masked men attacked him on his way home in Streeterville last Tuesday. All right. And put a rope around his neck. He probably liked it, to be honest with you. All right. Color connections. You always see these colors. All right. They pertain to New World Order. So you're going to see them. All right. Watch out for the color combinations. I always give you guys this list, but let's go again. Always look for the pink and black. Once you see that pink and black, it's a done deal. You can kind of guess the other colors, right? Because people wear them all the time. But when you see that pink and black, you know what time it is. So now we're going to look at the black and yellow, blue and yellow, and blue and black. The beast, Zionist EU, and Zionist Israel. When I saw this pose, who in the hell posed like this, man, when their sister dies? This looked like a promo shot, you know. And here's Robert Kraft charged with soliciting prostitutes. He's in front of a rapper wearing a black uh, sweater and yellow coat. All right. And there's T.J. Cunningham, black and gold, Colorado, Clark Gable, III, black and gold. So they start loading up the Internet with these pictures. It's a celebration. As I told you in the last video, you have to celebrate your kill. All right. Jesse Smollett, underground in Chicago. Run, Jesse, run. There's uh, R. Kelly in Beast Colors, both EU and the Leopard. Same thing, interchangeable. There's Jazzy Faye with Precious Harris. You got him wearing rainbow sunglasses. All right, there's uh, Israel and the uh, Man of Hidden Ceremony, all right, or Zionist Israel. There's T.I. with his sister, same colors. You're going to see the same colors every time, as I always show you guys, all right? There you go again, Smollett and Trump. And they put these pictures next to each other. That I didn't do that. I'm just showing you what they mean. Pink and black, all right? There's Jesse, pink and black, and he has the green um, Lacoste symbol. They're making sure you understand what it's about. Pink and black, T.J. Cunningham. You understand? Clark Gable III, pink and black. And that picture represents something, too, I'm going to show you in a second. I'm just showing you all the hacks, man. You don't have to do all the numbers and all that stuff. I'm just showing you straight to the point. This is how you tell those a sacrifice. There's Robert Kraft. T.I. actually was in black and pink celebrating. I was like, I don't know what's going on with Tip. He's going crazy. How are you going to jump on Floyd for Gucci Coonan, but you're making an album about trap? All right, um, Tiny, Hunter, Girls, Monica, and Latoya went out shopping. And that didn't make sense. But then I looked at their colors. I said, okay, I get it. That's exactly what that means, people. All right, the Stargate portal, Ananya, the high priestess, queen of heaven, and Ananya's name, which represents opening up a Stargate. And look at all the colors. They match up just like that. And that's what it means. Okay, that's what it means. I've been doing this a long time, man. That's what it means. All right. That's what it means. You don't know what your kids listen to. <laughs> you don't even know what you're listening to. You know what type of frequencies they put in your head? All right? Quantum vortex math. You understand what I'm about to <laughs> show you? Probably not. You know what I'm saying? Um, there's Robert Crabb. You see that pose? I'm not reaching. That's what it represents, okay? The famous pose you see in Freemasonry, open palms down, Okay? That's what it means. And you guys must have forgot R. Kelly's a high-ranking Mason, and they ain't going to let their own go to jail. They just playing a game with you people. All right? That's why he's always posing between two pillars. I'm surprised that, you know, nobody called me on that. You know, I sit back with some of my um, ex-bros, and we laugh at it because we know it's a game. All right? That's what that open palm means. He's mimicking Nimrod because all Freemasonry goes past Egypt to Mesopotamia, Sumer, uh, the land of the Middle East, as they call it. But you saw that G in front of the tower? That's because Masonic halls are mimicked after, or that Masonic hall is mimicked after the Tower of Babel. All masonry goes back to Stargate symbolism. You cannot separate the two, as I always tell you. Semiramis, Tammuz, Nimrod ceremony, scapegoat and lamb. Now, when you look at Semiramis, Queen of Heaven, Tammuz, the child, and Nimrod, you're going to know you're in that ceremony whenever they put a person who's died with a baby and a woman. That's the ceremony they're running. Nimrod always dies to give room to Tammuz. And at the same time, it's a scapegoat ceremony, right? Because whoever left limp, living is the scapegoat. So they run two ceremonies simultaneously. So that's the heads up on that. Okay? And that's what the ultimate ceremony is. They're going to destroy America to create the new Zionist Israel. And the EU is going to help them. Okay? So that's what that's about. That's the scapegoat and the Queen of Heaven ceremony at the same time. All right? And Nanya's name. Cuneiform. I just showed you this, but I'm going to show you again. That's what all those 
ladies in red represent. They represent America, but it goes back to Anaya in red. Okay? The whore. Okay? Dolly part. <laughs> Looking like that dude from Tales from the Crypt. Okay, now, that's what that's about. They're faking like they're so into her being a Delta, but they're using her uh, blonde hair in a red outfit. Okay? They're throwing in that ceremony. And even the Delta symbol itself, it goes back to the royal art. And that's just, you know, quantum math. You see, look at the bottom. And that represents Stargate. I wonder how many Deltas understand their symbol comes from Stargate. And that's a fact. I'm like, I'm not reaching. I'm making fun of anybody, but that's what it is. All right? America being defeated in war. Now, when you see the people and they have those colors on, they represent America being defeated in war. So all these ceremonies are going at the same time. That's Clark Gable. You're going to see him every time, people. I always say, go for the colors. You see that? That's what that dude standing next to R. Kelly is all about. R. Kelly is America, people. He symbolically represents America going to, going to um, jail for the sins and the um, crimes. I keep telling people, you're dealing with people that study Torah. They study Talmud, but they study Torah. They know what's about to happen to America. They're having fun. I can't make this up. I showed you with Bill Cosby. I broke it down. Okay? I keep showing you. Showed you in the movies, okay? Showed you in the sitcoms. Same thing. Number one, America. Showed you with Donald Trump. They're going to destroy America. I showed you with Get Out. It's a hidden message, people. Get out, get out. They're dressed like America together. <laughs> I keep showing you. I'm not trying to scare you. I'm just putting it in your head. This is what this is about. All these ceremonies go together, okay? Red. Yellow and black, nuclear war colors. When I seen her in these colors, I was like, yeah, they, they, got, they sacrificed her. Because initially, that's what it means, right? This is all about the war, as I showed you with those colors. Even with Future, like one of the commercials and the, the sit-downs he was in, the time was uh, 720, which is 74, 711. And I was like, man, they, they some dirty people. Like, these are people your kids look up to. You see? You see? Those pictures don't make it by mistake. You know, you can't just put this one on T.I. He didn't do it by himself. I guarantee you he didn't. Because everybody functions. Usually people who are all around the body or the person they die, those are people that benefit from it. And they're showing you that America's going to be blown up by nukes. I didn't put those pictures together, people. They did. I'm just showing you what they mean with the colors. Okay? Now, the Batman connection is this. One of the characters actually was named Precious in the new Batman comic book. One of the episodes, little stenches. This fool is always dressed like Batman with dirty underwear on his face. A rich cuckoo. And he's not broke, by the way. They're paying him to act stupid like this. Um, and he was attacked underground on a dark night in Chicago where they shoot Batman. So all these people and all the ceremonies are interrelated. That's how you keep the energy going. This is tall mood magic. All right. Robert Kraft's team was uh, portrayed in the movie Dark Knight. Okay, the two Super Bowl teams were portrayed. So everybody has a connection to the Dark Knight movie. They're letting you know it's going to be a dark night. All right. And TJ Cunningham's number was the number of the famous jersey in the scene where the guy's jumping. So everybody's related. I can't make this up, people. Now, Clark Gable III, his grandfather, um, they use his name to name Superman, who's Batman's compadre. So everybody's related to Batman. <laughs> this is the games they play, people. Okay, <laughs> Clark, all about the money, okay? Now, I'm letting you know right now, whenever you see a car crash or a person sacrificed via car crash or a plane crash after somebody's dead in a certain area, like there's a plane crash in Texas after Clark was reported dead, they're about to crash the economy. I'm letting you know now they're about to crash the stocks. That's what it's code word for. And I'm going to put some links up to the videos I broke down about that. Okay? I love you guys. So I got to go um, hang out with my little homeless buddy. So if you guys want to grab uh, my friends a coffee or something, go ahead. Nothing but a dollar. I love when you guys do that for me. I appreciate it. I'm just showing you it's the same narrative, people. It's in the movies, Hollywood, it's all the act. Children of Israel out here, peace. I love you. All right?